Hello my G family, what's up? It's your King G fan 112 and today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 hopes for Godzilla minus 1. Now before I get started, yes I saw the teaser and it was awesome, but I couldn't really make a video and then upload it on the same day because you know that'd be really hard, and I couldn't you know upload it yesterday either because of the comic dub, so now's a good time. So we thought it was going to be called Zero, but since we got the teaser it's called Minus One, which is definitely a lot better than Zero. Now I don't really have anything else to say, but these are my opinions so please respect them, and if you have anything else to say in the comments below I would love to know. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so it's post-war world 2, right? So it's set in the 40s, obviously. But for the story, I want it to be new. Not exactly new, but it could be kind of stylized in a traditional kind of way. So I don't want it to be exactly like the 1954 original uh, on where Godzilla came from, as long as it's not too far. Or like how to stop him along the way. Uh, I just want a kind of a new story um, on that, so that's kind of what I want for the story. Now I know we already got the design, which looks amazing. It looks like the design from the ride with a few tweaks here and there. So for example, the spikes from his dorsal fins look longer and pointier, which is really nice. It's like the designs from Heisei, Millennium, and Monsterverse all mixed together, and we got this. Now we thought he'd have like a huge shark-like dorsal fin or whatever, but no, we have more of a traditional design, so that's good. There's been a rumor going around that there will be two Godzillas in the film. I'm not saying that's 100% true, but if that's the case, then I think there will be a male and a female. So the male might be the traditional one that we're getting, and the female might be the one with the big fin. If the atomic breath is in the movie, which I'm pretty sure it will, um, then I hope the male would have the traditional blue atomic breath, and the female would have some different kind of atomic breath with, with a different color. I'm not really too sure, but... Um, That'd be pretty cool though. So that's what I'd say for the design that's already been revealed. Okay, so this is another highly anticipated one. So I want there to be new roars, new atomic breath sound, and the footsteps were already good. So we heard that in the teaser. You know, just cause um, back to when we were introduced to the Reiwa era, uh, Shin Godzilla, there weren't any new sounds at all. They were just completely reused from the show era and, and stuff like that. So, uh, in Shin Godzilla, his second form, he did, he never roared at all. His third form, they used the 1954 roars. His fourth form, um, they used the show roars and uh, one of the Heisei roars, but they were slightly modified and like, you can't even hear them. In the Earth Trilogy, he roared like Zilla one time, but he sounded like the Millennium Roars because, you know, that's what they literally use for Godzilla in the trilogy. And in Singular Point, there's a mix of Heisei and Millennium and that's it. No, uh, no new sounds at all, uh, as far as I remember. And that was just lazy of them to do, or I mean, I think it's lazy. Um, I'm sorry if that sounded harsh, but they literally should have made new sounds. Um, but yeah, that's what I want for this new film. I want there to be new sounds, you know, new music, but we're going to get to that. Because uh, for Legendary Godzilla, they modified his roar completely, but it still sounds um, iconic and traditional, right? So that's actually what I want for this movie. Classic Akira Fukube themes are in the movie, then I want them to be modernized, just like how Bamber Curry made his own version of the Godzilla theme, which was really good. Uh, so going back to Shin Godzilla again, I don't want to change the subject, but in Shin Godzilla, uh, they completely reused the theme from King Kong vs. Godzilla. I wish they, you know, like I said with the roars, I wish they made their own version. Uh, the Earth Trilogy, 
they, there weren't really that many um, classic themes at all. No, there weren't any classic themes, actually. I mean, it's fine, though. Uh, for Sealer Point, uh, how they pulled it off was really good. Uh, it was it was super good. Like I said, for here, I want it to be modernized. Uh, it doesn't have to be all the themes. It doesn't have to be a whole medley, you know? Uh, it could just be one of them. So that's what I want for the themes. Okay, now I don't really have anything to say in this part, but this is the last thing that I want for this movie. I want it to be good. It doesn't have to be perfect, because let's face it, nothing's perfect. But if they get pretty much everything right, then it'll be good enough for me. But like I said, I just want it to be good. I don't want it to be exactly like the original film. I just want it to have its own kind of story. That's it. Okay, so guys, that's it. Uh, sorry this was kind of bland. Um, I'm not really used to making these top something vids. Uh, this is my first one, so this is something I'm gonna have to get used to for a bit. Uh, but yeah, and Soho, if you're watching this, don't f*** it up. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I think it'll be good. Uh, but. Yeah, uh, if this movie does well, I really hope we get uh, more sequels, because I want to see at least Toho's Big Five. But yeah, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing this movie when it comes out on December 1st uh, in the US, because, uh, you know, in Japan, it comes out on November 3rd, Godzilla's birthday. And here in the U.S. Uh, it comes out December 1st, so it'll be like our first Christmas present. So that'll be really cool. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want more vids like this, uh, make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, like, comment, share, and all the good stuff. And yeah, this is GFan912 signing out. Goodbye, my G family.